Okay, so let's begin by adding our Skittles to our plastic beaker here. We'll grab our P1000 micropipette. We'll set the volume to 500 microliters. Make sure we get a tip on our micropipette. And then we're gonna add 500 microliters of the 1X TAE buffer to our Skittles. Now the TAE is Tris, Acetic Acid, and EDTA. Acetic Acid is a little bit like vinegar and it smells that way. What we're gonna do is add that to the Skittles and stir it around for a bit, maybe 30 seconds or so. What the TAE does is it removes whatever molecule is on the outside of that Skittle and into the TAE. So you'll see here now that most of the color is off the outside of the Skittles and is in the liquid at the bottom of the beaker. Okay, so that was step one of the lab. We removed the dye from the outside of the Skittles and now we're going to use gel electrophoresis to run those dyes on an agarose gel. Here are the materials we use to remove the dye. Now to do the gel electrophoresis, we'll need our tips for our micropipettes. Here is our agarose gel, and we use this comb to make wells, little holes inside of the gel. And we're gonna place that gel inside of a gel box. Here's the lid of the gel box. Before putting that on, we add some more TAE buffer and attach the leads here to the power supply. And then we'll run electricity through the gel to help separate our molecules. So let's get ready to do our gel electrophoresis. First, we'll add our agarose gel to the gel box. You'll see the box is full of TAE buffer. Grab our P20 micropipette and set the volume to six microliters. Get a tip onto our micropipette and we are ready to load our samples. Let's review the order that we're going to add our samples to our agarose gel. So for lane number one, we're gonna add the yellow number five die, and we're gonna add the dies from left to right. So in lane number two, we're gonna add yellow number six, and so on and so forth. In lane number seven, we're gonna add the liquid that we got from the outside of the green Skittle. In a separate gel, you'll see results for the different colored Skittles. So if you chose the pink Skittle to make a prediction, you'll see results in lane seven on a separate gel. Let's get ready to load our first sample, yellow number five, into lane one. Now, loading agarose gels takes a little bit of practice, and it's actually really a lot of fun. So after we load our first sample, we always switch our tip, get a new one, to add our second sample. In this case, it's yellow number six. Now you'll see when we load lane number two here, you often wanna use, if you're right-handed, your left hand on the box to steady your right hand for loading the gel. Again, we switch our tips and move on to our next sample. When you're loading your samples, you don't actually put the tip way down into the well. You don't wanna puncture the bottom of the well because your sample will go through the bottom of the gel. You actually hover it just a little bit over the top of the well before loading it. Now sometimes there's a little bit of liquid on the outside of your tip and that comes off into the gel and it looks like, oh no, I may have missed making it into the well. Uh, so. Don't worry if that happens. You'll see here with this brilliant green, it's really dense. And so when we put this into lane number five, there's a little bit on the outside and we think, oh no, did I miss it? No, it just came off into the TAE buffer. You can see most of the sample got into that well. So we're skipping ahead. We're adding the liquid from the outside of the green Skittle into lane seven. And as you can see, we have now loaded all seven of our samples and we're putting our lid on top of the electrophoresis box and starting the electricity through the gel. Our seven samples will move through the agarose gel 
based on their size and charge. As you can see, most are moving towards the bottom of the gel. That's the positive end. And at least one of them is moving towards the top of the gel, the negative end. Now as the gel runs, it gets warm, so we've got some condensation on top. So head back to our lesson slides to view the results of our agarose gel electrophoresis.